Here's a quick way to model a share of star and do some sort of circular text. All right, so I'm starting with nothing in my scene. I'm gonna go Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder, and I'm gonna choose 10 for the vertices. And down here, I'm gonna choose Triangle Fan. I'm going to Edit Mode. I'm gonna scale this in the Z a little bit, and then press two for edge selection deselect everything and choose every alternate edge. Hold down shift, choose every alternate edge like that. Press S to scale and just bring it in like that to make it look like a star. All right, deselect by Alt A, I guess it was. One for vertex selection, choose these two vertices, press M, merge at center, and go around and do that for all of these parts here. Merge at center. Just press M. Center. Once you've done that, go around here and choose these ones and do the same thing. Okay, grab this point here, and we'll bring that up so it's level with the rest of the star. So I'm gonna turn on um, snapping. I'm just gonna choose uh, vertex, and then I'm gonna hold control, and pull it up, and just sort of hover over that point. So I've got that now. And I'm gonna press three to go into face selection, select those bottom ones, and I think I'm going to try extruding down a little bit to do that kind of a thing with a little bit of thickness uh, like that. Let's go over to the modifiers and choose bevel and give it about three segments. 0 0.01 maybe. I'll try the limit method of angle. Shade smooth and then add weighted normal and under normals auto smooth. And one more thing I can do for this is come back to that bevel under geometry and switch this to arc. And I think that's the shape that I want to go with. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to bring in a UV sphere and I'm going to give it, say, 12 segments and maybe, I don't know, 8 or something. Uh, control 2 and shade smooth, sh scale it down bring it up to this point let's rotate x90 and scale it till you get the size that you want right at the end there that's okay now my 3d cursor is right in the middle there so i'm going to switch over to 3d cursor and i'm going to shift d rotate z actually i can probably just press rotate shift d rotate because i'm in an orthographic view and i'm just going to bring that around to all of the points here like that okay I'll switch back to median point okay and say I like that shift a mesh circle I'll choose something like 22 vertices and I'm going to scale it out till it sort of just touches the end of that as if these would be welded to another piece of metal press E and S come out give myself enough room because I'm going to put some text in here but I also want an area here I'm going to control R control B pull it apart give myself a little bit of room here um, I'm going to extrude those up in a moment but first I'm going to select it all and extrude down you notice it changed a funny color select it all alt n recalculate outside recalculate polys outside uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to shift alt and click those faces and those faces i'm in number three faces there face selection e and extrude it up a bit control two for two subdivisions and shade smooth and I'm going to come in here and control R, put an edge loop here and here. I'm not bringing it right to the edge necessarily, but just kind of close just to sharpen that up. 
And I think I'll put one more edge loop there in control B and just pull it out towards the edges to make it a little bit sharper. And then I'll just look at this and decide if I like the thickness and, and all. Now, maybe it is too thick. I don't know. Scale in the Z a bit. And just position it where you want. All right, so you got that so far. And now it's going to be the, the text and the design you want to do. Now, this is looking a little bit round, so you, you can either bring an edge loop uh, down here or you can delete the back faces if you want to as well. So I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a circle. So just choose any circle you got there. Shift D, pull it up, P, and break it out so it's this, its own object. I'm going to convert that to a curve. I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'm going to bring some text in. Shift A, text. And I'm going to switch this down here, the alignment, to center. I'm going to pull it up so I can see the thing. And I'll choose a font uh, that you like here. So for this, I'll just choose anything. All right. I'm going to look down, and now I'm going to put some text. I'm just going to do one word. Uh, either down here or up there, but you could you could do this a few times if you want. Let me go to edit mode. Just like that. Okay, look. Now we'll come up here and extrude. Just extrude a little bit like that. And for bevel depth, just be careful. If you start going nuts, it may, it may, the text may go weird. So I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to click that once. A small bit of depth, uh, bevel. And uh, you can experiment with putting more spaces in here. And then it, the, the text will wrap a little bit more. But I'll just do one space like that and show you. I'm going to convert that now to a mesh. And I'm going to go into edit mode and wireframe by pressing Z. And it's going to box select this bottom here, X faces. Just delete those bottom faces. Okay, so we're there ready to go. All right, so what I'm going to do is take the text and add a modifier, a curve modifier, and choose that curve. They made it convert that to a curve. Convert that to a curve. There we go. Okay, and now from here you just scale your text, select your curve, and move it in, and that'll position the text, then scale it, and you can see until it fits in there. I can rotate this afterwards. I can move it down. Until it makes contact with the surface there and take the curve move it so it looks centered and let's say I'm happy with that I'm gonna take my text and I'm gonna apply the curve I'm gonna get rid of it but you might want to use it again if you want to do other words so I'm just gonna take that and I'll just rotate it maybe I'll have this up near the top like that and then I'll take this again, Shift D, and I'll scale it down. And just position it wherever, wherever you want. Now I still have the, the bottom faces on it. You could always uh, delete that. You could scale that in the Z, make it more prominent. Okay, so I've got that and uh, I'll go in and I'll just rotate that any way you like. Now I've got my 3D cursor still there, so I'm gonna switch to 3D cursor and I'll shift D, rotate, and, and you can just put those anywhere. You know, something like that. All right, double check. All right, that's good. Uh, come over here, I'll put on the shadow. And we've got ourselves a little sheriff's badge. It's pretty high poly, but 
might look cool uh, hanging on a wall.